Hi, I'm Woody, and welcome to my world. Let's talk a little bit about the weekend football coming up with both colleges and the pros. First of all, I want to talk about Army and Air Force. You go, first of all? Well, I love it when the service academies meet, particularly down at the Air Force Academy with, with all the ceremony, with the cadets lining up on the field, with the jets flying over, Army coming in. Same way a couple of years ago, I went up to West Point for this game. I just really enjoy it. Colorado taking on Missouri. You got to give Colorado a chance in this game. A good chance because they're playing at home and they have played well against all the South teams in the Big 12. They're undefeated against them. They're having problems with the North teams. But this is a game that Colorado can win and would ensure probably that they would be in a fairly decent bowl game, particularly if they can beat Nebraska on Thanksgiving weekend. However, I don't think that Colorado will end up winning. I give this game to Missouri by 10 points. Let's turn to a couple of games in the pros that I think we're all interested in. Number one, the Broncos at the Lions. I'm looking for the Broncos to win. I still don't think that John Kidna and the Detroit Lions are for real. I believe that the Broncos can piece together enough of their healthy players to play a good defensive game. I give this one to the Broncos 17 to night. I think they'll just be able to score enough they're playing in the Dome. However, I think this is a case of the Broncos just nudging out the Detroit Lions. AFC is still stronger than the NFC. And, of course, the biggest game of the weekend, maybe one of the biggest all-time regular season games, the undefeated Colts against the undefeated Patriots. Everybody's been impressed with what the Patriots have done, and I think they're trying to show everybody they don't need Spygate. But I go with the Colts playing at home, 14 straight victories there. They have beaten the Patriots in the last three meetings, averaging 35 points a game. Give me Peyton Manning on artificial turf in the RCA Dome where they play extremely well. I think it'll be 35 to 31 Colts. Enjoy the weekend. I'll see you here next week, and I'll also see you in the sports pages of the Denver Post.